Hey guys, this is Corey from Aquarium Co-op. Today I'm going to show you how to drill an aquarium. Uh, I'm going to make it real simple. We're going to do like eight of them today. I'm only going to show you one. And uh, yeah, we're going to do some more fish room stuff as well today. So stay tuned. All right, so to drill an aquarium, we're going to need a, an aquarium. And you know, things you want to make sure it's not tempered glass, which most smaller aquariums are not uh, tempered, so that's fine. Uh, we're going to need a drill. You can use a plug-in drill or a uh, cordless, I prefer a cordless. Also the weight of the battery kind of helps drive it through. And you're going to need a diamond tipped hole saw. You can buy these on eBay, Amazon, even from Lowe's and Home Depot and Ace Hardware, that type of thing. They're going to be more expensive from there. I want to say getting these shipped uh, from Amazon. I accidentally chose a shipper that wasn't in the USA, so it took like a month and a half, but they were very cheap. So I ordered some on, uh, on eBay, and they arrived here in about a week, and they were like six bucks a piece or something like that. You want to get the correct size hole saw for the correct size bulkhead you're going to put in. Uh, you're also going to need something with water. I've just got a uh, you know pitcher here with some water in it, and that's how we're going to keep uh, the drill wet while we're, while we're drilling. You're also going to need a piece of wood, and uh, this is just a piece of scrap wood I had laying around. And the first thing you want to do, and I've already done that, is you want to take your drill bit and you want to cut a hole through it. And uh, that's what I've done. It, it's going to smoke a lot because this, this bit's not made to be cutting wood, it's made to be cutting glass and tile. Uh, but you need to get all the way through it, and this is going to be your new guide, and that's what makes it easy. Uh, so then, <clears throat> once you've got it placed on your piece of wood the way you want it, you then orientate it to the aquarium. Like so. Alright, so this is going to be loud and noisy while we're doing it. It's kind of an ear piercing sound. It's probably going to sound ten times more horrible on the camera because I have the camera close to the hole so we can watch what happens. Uh, so, I'm going to try and edit that out or something. but. We're going to put water in the hole. We need to keep the bit cold, just like when we drilled uh, the pots. So we're going to basically fill this hole we made with water. And it can leak out. We're doing it outside, and that's fine. Uh, and then we just hold it with our hand. We don't want to clamp it real tight. If you get here and you clamp it, you're going to be drilling, and you're going to create a pressure point somewhere on here, and it's just going to snap this panel of glass. So your best is to hold it. And all the reason we have this template is, one, to hold some water for us. That helps it keep it in there. And two, so that this bit doesn't walk around. You'll see videos where they say to try and start it on its edge, and then you kind of rock it like this. All you're going to do is it's going to run on you like this, and you're going to make a bunch of scratches on your tank. Uh, this is a much better way to do it. So spend a lot of time talking, we'll put some more water in here and we actually get start start drilling. So we just fill up our hole, grab our drill, and we're just going to go at a moderate pace. And the goal is to scratch your way through or grind your way through. You can go pretty quick, but the first one you're going to go real slow and you're going to get more and more confident the more you do, so I'm just going to go ahead and get to it. Another tip, you want to give even pressure. You don't want to break through on one end coming in on the side. You want to just go nice up and down. It's nice if you have a level on your drill. Uh, I don't for this angle. I have it on top here, but I'm not going through the aquarium this way. We're going down. So. starting to make that squeal sound. Whenever it makes that squeal sound, I like to add some more water because it's drying out. So we add some more water.
another tip that I'm not doing, and it's kind of one of those classic do as I say, not as I do, that would be to put something soft or tape the back of this so that when this piece of glass falls through it doesn't crack it. Uh, I just have a lot of aquariums, I've done this a lot, I don't really have that problem, but I don't want anyone else to have that problem if they, you know, it's their pride and joy tank and they're drilling it and they have a problem, so make sure you put a towel or something like that underneath when this glass falls through, uh, just to prevent anything. I need to stop talking so much and uh, keep drilling because my water comes out about as fast as I'm putting it on there if I just talk the whole time, so. And just like that, we've gone through. Now, a couple of tips here. I've drilled <coughs> easily over 100 holes. I've drilled a lot of holes. I've tried about every combination I can find on going through slow, going through fast, drilling from both sides. Any combination I can to go through this hole, or through this glass, and get a clean cut. And no matter what I do, I can never get a perfect, clean hole. The thicker the glass I'm drilling, the easier that is. But the thinner, like on a 20 gallon, there's not a lot of room, and so you tend to get chip out, or clamshells, or breakout. And so you can see on here, uh, it's not perfect. We've got, you know, this came out, and this, and this, and this, and if I go really slow, uh, it'll do it. If I go fast, it'll do it. Uh, sometimes what I have noticed, if I go too slow, it'll get to this point, eventually it's just going to snap it out, and that's actually been worse sometimes. Uh, so like I've done this one, the one before I shot this video was this one, you know, and so this one had less breakout, I did the exact same way. <clears throat> you know, this one had a little more breakout. but. Uh, because I'm drilling down and inward, uh, that breakout's on the inside, and the the bulkhead itself is going to cover that, and uh, the gasket. Um, so, like I said, it's easier to drill a thicker aquarium. Uh, a 10 gallon can be done, I've done it, but it's hard. Know that you're probably going to break 20 to 25 percent of the tanks because the glass is just so thin um, that it's, it's a nightmare because it doesn't take a lot of pressure to crack it. Uh, yeah, so we set this off to the side, and now you have an aquarium with a hole in it. Now you can get into all kinds of trouble. Uh, you can start plumbing it, you can do all kinds of things, make a sump. Um, but yeah, it's as easy as that. There's now a hole in this aquarium. Uh, we're going to drill some more, clean them up, paint them, and we'll start installing them in the fish room. When it comes to fitting your bulkhead, uh, this is about the amount of play you want in the hole that you've drilled. So. You can see there's a little bit of play, but you can see that when I put the actual bulkhead to the glass, it easily, easily covers the hole. You can see on all sides here that the gasket that goes on the inside, and the gasket does go on the inside here, it's going to mate with the glass, it's got a couple of ridges on it, and that's going to really seal and hold the water in for you. And then you put the, the nut that's right there on the back end, and you tighten it down. And now you have, you know, a water tight hole through glass, and that's pretty nice. Hey guys, I just got done drilling my aquariums, and I just have to do a little follow-up to this. Uh, the Chinese, the ones that came from, shipped from China, the drill bits, the diamond hole saws, are terrible. Like, so bad. I went through three of them, and uh, I couldn't even finish eight aquariums. I literally gave up, and I kept swapping them, and... I don't know if it's just the way they're made or what, but the ones I got from inside the USA, same price. I'm still sure I'm still sure they're manufactured in China or something like that, but it's a different one altogether. But let me show you what's wrong with these. So it's gonna be hard to see here, but this post it is not perfectly centered. And so, it, like this one, it's leaning this way a little bit. And at first, I thought, oh, maybe my drill, maybe you know, maybe I dropped it and something. And it was, it now doesn't drill on center. So then I tried a right angle drill, same problem. Then I swapped out to an old, the old one that I drilled the other tanks with, and it works just fine. Um, this is another one of these. So this is, this is exactly what you do not want. This one is terrible. Uh, this one also has the same problem, and you can tell 
that they are machined differently between this one and that one. And when we look on the insides even, uh, you can see there's like almost little contact points where it's uh, this, this pin or whatever you want to call it has been mounted to it. And um, the same goes for this one. This one's really apparent. And I don't know if that's allowing it to, as I drill, it gets worse. Because it definitely it was getting worse the more I did it. Uh, there's no doubt about that. It was getting worse. But it would be like after halfway through one tank, it was really wobbling. And uh, whereas this one, no problem at all. Uh, what I'm, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to put, I'm going to put links down below. Uh, to the one inch bulkheads that I'm using and the good uh, diamond hole saw so that way you don't have to go through the same fiasco because there's nothing worse than uh, setting up to do what you're going to do on the weekend or your day off and then you get into the project and you realize the tool's going to hold you back and you had to wait for it to show up in shipping and stuff like that so um, yeah I want to make sure you guys get the right thing just like I you know, I had the right thing, luckily, in addition. I happened to order both, but, um, you know, had I not had that day, would have come to a complete halt because I can't drill through the aquarium. So that being said, my other drill bit is getting pretty dull. I would say these drill bits have somewhere between an 8 and 10 tank lifespan. I've pushed them as far as 20 before, but you get, your breakage rate goes up. So, like, at 20 aquariums, you might have broken two out of the 20 uh, at 8 to 10, I'm breaking zero. And so, yes, this $6 drill bit, I might be able to get double as many tanks, but if you break even one tank, you are costing yourself a lot more. Even though if it's a dollar a gallon sale, it's $20 for a 20 gallon tank, that'll buy three bits and some change. Uh, so I would say invest in more diamond hole saw drill bits than tanks. It's also less messy, you don't have to recycle the glass and get rid of it. Uh, so just invest in quality stuff, and again, that's down low in the link. I'm going to put it probably on Amazon, something that anyone can order in the U.S. It should be pretty easy, and uh, save you guys some heartache. So, And uh, let me know what else you want to see. This is uh, another tutorial.